Hello everyone. Um, I did start a video earlier, uh, something a little different today. Um, this is has, as far as I got one, I had a phone call from my dentist. Um, I use my phone as my camera uh, for these videos. So <laughs> I really wanted to take the call, so I kind of stopped. Um, so what I will do, it's, it's, it's probably no bad thing actually, because uh, having done this in the previous attempted video, I would have had to have left it and not been able to finish the card because for this, I use some embossing paste. This is my homemade embossing paste in this salt pot. I have got a video on how I make that, so I, I will try and put a link below this one so you can see. But what I will do to kind of catch up is show you the process that I used for making this scene. This die I bought some time ago, I think I got it in Craft Stash. Um, and to me, it reminded me of currents in the ocean. So my idea was I dug out some dies. I don't know the origin of these at all. I've got a turtle and some sort of seaweedy things. And I just cut them from scrap card um, just to see if they would go with this position wise. I can treat them with colour or whatever as as and when, but I just cut them to kind of start with. So I'm going to put this on one side and I'll show you the process that I did to get to this point and then we'll go on from there to try and, and create a card. So my idea was I tried to cut a stencil from Mylar with this this die, I couldn't do it. It was too tr too tough. I think I've got the wrong um, thickness or weight or whatever you call it of my last. So I'm, I need to get some some thinner stuff. Right. What I'm going to do is just tape this to my mat. I um, I'm doing it this way up, although as you can see the square bit there is going to be the bottom, but I want to drag the embossing post paste towards me. So I'm going to put it at the top. Okay, I'm gonna try and get it fairly equidistant round, but this is a full sized piece of card, uh, which is exactly the same size as the front of my card base. So. It, if I don't get it quite square, I've, I've got a chance to kind of level it up when I trim it to actually put it on the front. So this is just low tack tape that I'm sticking this down to the mat with. Okay. I don't intend bringing... I've used this once before and it's kind of dried and I think I can use it again. Normally, um, if I've made a stencil from card... And then used embossing paste on it. it I would, I would th have to throw it, but this it actually looks all right. So we'll just see how we go. So here's my I made this weeks ago, and it's kept really well. So let's have a drop of this embossing paste at the top. It's just made from white acrylic paint, white glue, and talcum powder. You can make put colours in it, do all sorts, but that's all it can say. Oh, and water. did I say water? I can't remember. This last few, well, this last week has been a, a trifle fraught, one thing and another, with Phil being in hospital. And then my bridge broke. A, a bridge, which apparently, a dental bridge I'm talking about here, uh, that <laughs> doesn't break. They don't break. Well, mine did. So, Went yesterday. Uh, they put a made a new temporary, <laughs> and by the time lunchtime was over, that had chipped as well. So we're kind of having a bit of a week this week, one way and another. But Phil is improving. That's the main thing. Right, there's my embossing paste, and what I want to do with this is to sprinkle on some embossing powder and I've got a couple here from Wow. I don't know from a sort of a Caribbean -y sort of set I think and um, I'm going to put a little of each 
onto this embossing. One is called St. Lucia Surf and the other one is called something Mystic Waterfall. Wonderful names, aren't they? Right, so let's have a little a little of each. And I'm just going to tap it over the the surface. There we go. Right, that was the the mystic waterfall. Now we're going to have some St. Lucia surf. I haven't spread it around after putting that on because whichever um, pa powder meets the, the embossing paste first will grab it. And if I shake it around, there won't be any spare un uh, grabbed stuff for this colour. I'll mix it up afterwards. But unless you want to contaminate your pot, you can't put it back in. I very often just put a mixture into another little something or other and then just use it as is for something. Right, let's have a look. I'm going to tap this around to try and make sure the rest is, is kind of covered. Right, here we go. It's such a pretty effect. I love it. And you can either just leave it as is and let it dry naturally. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Um, you can either let it dry naturally or you can use a heat tool on it. Now, if you use a heat tool on it, it will very often bubble up a bit and puff up. And that is a really nice effect, actually. So I'll just try and show you a little bit of what... Look at those colours. Isn't that lovely? Just put it on one more time, just to make sure every little bit of... Every little bit of paste has been touched by some of the powder. There we go. I think I will. Oh, isn't it lovely? I do love it. Is that bit there had some on? Yeah, must be how I put the paste on. Okay, put that on one side. Now I will use my heat tool just a little bit and you'll probably find that it'll just puff up just a tad. It is puffing up a little bit, you probably can't see, but I'm going to leave that now to, on one side to dry and I'm going to get on with the um, the other elements. Okay. Now this little turtle, I don't know, I don't, I don't know where he's from, can't remember. But when he's die cut, um, he comes into two pieces. His, his body is separate from his shell, as you can see here. You see? But what I wanted to do, I've stuck these together with a little piece of just regular sticky tape because I want to have this layer as a base to put my other pieces on. And what I intend to do is this. Another layer for the body and the shell and then an extra layer as just a shell. So the shell is, is, is slightly in relief of the body. And I have visions of him kind of swimming down through the through the currents with maybe a bit of weed or whatever you know this kind of stuff get the get my drift 
and then maybe a sentiment. I did have one that said Oceans of Love or something like that. Whether I've still got it is anybody's guess. But if I can't find it, I could always do one on the computer. So that's kind of, you know, my idea for what I want to do. So next thing to do is to do some colouring. Um, I think I will have... I'll cut one more... Um, let me just wipe this a minute because I don't want this to go hard. There we go. Otherwise, somebody would be saying, you've left your palette knife all dirty and it's going to get me messed up. Right. Um, I'll cut another turtle. So I've got another shell. That's what I'm after, basically. Right. So I've got two bodies and three shells. There we are. And I want to choose colours to colour both the weeds and the turtle that kind of complement the colour of the sea. I've recently renamed all my Distress Oxides. I downloaded a a sheet that has got all the names on and I've cut them up and stuck them on but do you know I find it more difficult to read I don't know if it's age or what to read the names on on a colour than I did just scrawled onto a, 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 a white background so if I don't like them coloured I can always turn them back round and have the old label showing but um, I, I tend to have them stored here in alphabetical order whereas on my chart i've got them in color families when you download these names um i'll try and put the link actually if anybody's interested um they are again arranged in color families but i've i've put them into to alphabetical order we are digressing aren't we let's just have a look so um did I think evergreen bough was that that is a possible colour to maybe for the the weed or whatever? Uh, cracked pistachio, a bit green, isn't it? A bit a bit uh, a bit hectic. Bundled sage, possibly. Um, let me just start doing a bit of colouring and then we'll see where we go from here. Um, I've looked today to reorganise. Uh, my desk so that I have one less um, die storage unit on there to give my craft light a bit more space so that I can uh, don't knock it over every time I try and take a um, a set of pads out the other the other side of my machine right let's look let's have a look at evergreen bow I don't tend to use evergreen bow very much um, I don't know if I don't like it or what I don't know but Let's try it for some of this weed. It looks quite nice. This is a rather strange card, actually. Doesn't seem to be very. It seems to be, well. It seems to be a little bit uh, shiny. It seems to have a bit of a surface on it that's not accepting the colour incredibly well. Um, Forest, no, I don't like forest ones, that's too yellow. I'm going to have to go with, with the, the bluey greeny colours, I think. Let's try some of this one. This is cracked pistachio. It's really not accepting the colour very well. I think I'm going to have to cut these from a bit of different card, actually. Look at that. That's not doing very well at all, is it? Don't like it. Right, let me get another piece of something or other to cut the, uh, for the top layer at least. Let's have a look. That is a, is a different card from the card base. It, this is a, a hammered and it, I don't know, it's, it's very shiny. Let's try some of this. This is the same stuff as uh, my card base. I've just cut the, one of each of these out and we'll see. I haven't done very well with, I say, with videos today. I've started and got in a pickle and the dentist called and, oh dear. Right, here's my top plate. Right. There we are. 
Let's try see if this one accepts colour any more readily. Let's have a look. All right. I don't seem to want to in this one. Oh, it's better. It's better. Yes. Shall I? I may stack it. I may. We'll see. Um, let's have a go at the old um, turtle. Here's this top layer. Let me stick these together. Here's this bottom layer. Then we'll put this on and we'll put one of these shells on these little, little pieces in his shell are just hanging in by a, a thread right now I'll put an extra one on the Oops, it's lazy. An extra one on the shell, and then we'll colour the two top bits. Okay, now I've got white for the top layer. Oh, this glue is so, so tacky. Hate the feel of it. Let me get another piece of wet wipe, baby wipe, whatever you call them. Right, mm, let me colour these in a bit. Okie dokie. Right, where's my turtle? Here he is hiding. I wonder if I should colour him with them. Um, I wonder whether to colour them with alcohol pens. Let's give him a bit of this colour just to start him off. Don't care about how much. These are the top, they're going to be the very top layer, so those are the ones that have got to be the really good colour. Um, let's try. Now, what colour is a turtle? Do we want him brown? I don't know. They're called green turtles, aren't they, some of them? Green turtles. What greens have I got? Some of them are a bit hectic, really. Um, lucky Clover. Is that going to go? Oh, it's very bright, isn't it? Very bright. Bundled sage. Need something a bit darker. Rustic wilderness. Right, let's just see how we go. This is the body. Bundled sage. prefer the darker colours. They don't seem to be taking on it too much today. 
Let's do his shell. I might be putting some colour on his shell with um, with markers. I don't seem to be doing so well on this. Right, I think I possibly will. Okay. Green turtle. I have a fancy for him looking a bit of a... What does this do? going to clash isn't it with that ah uh, well it doesn't matter I don't suppose it, I, don't, <laughs> I don't suppose the turtle worries whether he clashes with the sea or not really um what have we got color wise still it's hectic That's a bit much, isn't it? He's a definitely a green turtle, isn't he? Let's have a look. Not thrilled. Where was the bundle say? Just put bundle say all over him again. I'd rather have that. Right, let's get some. I would like him a bit mottled, really. What does he look like on there? Oh, he might look all right, mightn't he? Yeah. Let's keep this light. Just sh shadowing a little bit of the the shell, a bit over the back, just to give him a bit of dimension. Let's see what it looks like. He might be all right if I put some. Um, uh, micro glaze over the top of that that might uh, shine him up I think he needs to be a bit shiny doesn't he really his shell I know on previous cruises we've sat and watched turtles swimming alongside us wonderful right let's stick these together I've got it on the back of this I think I mean, doing the back because there's less ink on the back than there is on the front of the layer underneath. So, we are. I think he looked quite nice. I'm just going to dry him off a little bit and then put some bit of micro glaze on and that that is not so shiny as a, a crystal glaze if you know what I mean. Right. 
Right. Oh, he's quite sweet. Need to make him a bit rounded as well before we finish. Right, where is my micro glaze? Here it is. Distress glaze from Ranger. It's actually a resist this as well, so you can't really um, stamp over it and stuff like that. So there it goes. Put it on with the finger, rub it off with a paper towel, buff it up with a paper towel. It's quite sweet. Now, just need to do the old um, weeds. Do I like that one? Let's have a look at the other one. There's a one I cut out in white. Let's have a look at this chap. I put my hand into the drawer this morning to stab myself with something or other. I don't know what it was. I got blood <laughs> on the card I was doing. Had to do a bit of skillful cutting. Look at my fingers. Oh, that's a better size, isn't it? That's a much better size. I like that one better. All righty. So now let's get a bit of colour for this chap. And we will do what? Um, do you have a bit of contrast? Nice, mightn't it? Do, um, let's try this one again. Something a little bluer, I think. Let's put some of this on neat. It's just fun playing, really. Do we need another one? Maybe. of the um, what do we think about that I'm not too keen on the I like the sheen on that now this one looks a little bit drab what can we keep what can we keep doing good old no it's a bit too dark I think perhaps lucky clover put it off the water first Hmm, not by itself. Need something darker. Let's try the old rustic wilderness. Oh dear, we'll get there in the end. I don't like absolute, you know, plain colours, which is why that one I think might, might well do. And to let it dry for a minute, I'll perhaps hold it and dry it with my heat tool. Oh. 
I think the the answer really is just to play around until you until you're sort of satisfied with the look of what you're doing. That one's better. Oh yeah. And fancy for that going in the corner like that. So and a sentiment. Oh I, I do fancy oceans of love. I don't remember where I got it from. I will have a look and see and put my finished card on my Facebook page, on the community tab of my YouTube channel and on Instagram. So, as ever, thank you so much for watching.